Hey everyone, this weekend is pretty crazy. I have my sister-in-law's baby shower and my husband's uncle's wedding. So I decided to do a Manny that would fit both of these special occasions. Okay, I am starting this Manny off with OPI's natural base coat. I am starting off with Essie's Hubby for Dessert. I really love this polish. I just picked it up not long ago and I'm about half done. I use it a lot. Because this is such a sheer polish, I did end up doing three coats on my thumb, index, and pinky finger. Just till it got to the opacity that I liked. Now moving on to the accent finger. I decided for this Manny, I wanted to do a, something a little bit different so I decided to do the middle finger and my ring finger in uh, Wet n Wild's whip topping. This white polish is not the best. It's fairly cheap so I can, and it's readily available, I can get it pretty much anywhere. But yeah, it, it'll work. Two coats of this, it's completely opaque. While my accent fingers are drying here, it is on to top coat. Say it with me, HK girl. I recently picked up this amazing holographic polish. It is Wet n Wild's Kaleidoscope. Absolutely gorgeous in the sun. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. I just wanted to show you guys how simply applying this would look on your nails. Um, there's many different ways of doing it. So here first I'm showing you just painting it on, just like normal fingernail polish, just painting it on. It's fairly thin, kind of sparse, but if that's what you're into, that's great. I prefer to do it so that it's more opaque, so I use a makeup sponge. This way I can kind of control the amount of glitter that I'm putting on. Um, if it's not quite to my standards of how thick and opaque I want it to be and how completely fully covered my nails are, I just keep adding more and more. What's nice about using the makeup sponge is it absorbs the base of the polish so that when you're applying, if you were just to apply it over and over, it gets fairly thick and it never dries. This way, it soaks up the actual um, base of the polish, leaving just the glitter on your nail. Since I sponged the glitter on, it won't take very long for my nail to dry, but um, while I'm giving it a little bit of time, I'm just going to try to do some cleanup here. This glitter is notorious for being super hard to um, remove. I usually use a peel off base coat when I'm doing glitter, but for this Manny, I am using it for a baby shower and also a wedding, so I kind of want it to stay on as long as possible. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit as best I can right at this time. And then I will do another top coat. Say it with me again, HK girl. Just look at how gorgeous this is. Once I apply the top coat, that shimmer just shines. Love it. Now on to our next accent nail. This one was a bugger. Oh my goodness. Putting on these little uh, striping tape, 
holy cow, they stuck to everything but my nail. Uh, it took me probably a good four or five times for each line. I was getting so frustrated. There was a couple times where I was saying, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I can't get them straight. They're just, it was not my day for striping tape. But eventually I got it. <laughs> Phew, that was a chore. Eventually I did get them on, but then the next dilemma was my cuticle nippers would not cut them. So I was struggling to cut the tape with my cuticle nippers. I think I must need a new pair because I was basically pulling the tape, not necessarily clipping it off like I should have been, but I was pulling it. So I ended up putting a few indents into my nail, but I just put my top coat over it and called it good. I about had it with that nail, so it was time to move on. And one final coat of HK Girl. <laughs> and this masterpiece is done. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and subscribe. See you in the next one.